What's up, guys and gals? I am Jay Campbell. And I'm Hunter Williams. And we are back, and we are doing another video on peptides. And today, a very good discussion on the difference between melanotan 1 and melanotan 2, which most of you guys who are familiar with peptides know that these are the quote-unquote tanning peptides. But as I've decoded, now almost going back six years from a lot of the research that was done by uh, Dr. Frank Barr, who's been erased from Google, melanotan 1 and melanotan 2 for that, for all essential purposes, um, is a very, very interesting peptide because of the, I can never pronounce the word, melanocortitoid receptor complexes in the human body are responsible for so many things like energy production, cellular fumigation. There's so many things that these melanocortoid receptor complexes are responsible for. And Dr. Frank Barr was doing all this research in the 60s and 70s at Berkeley about these things. And he was mysteriously uh, suicided off the top of a very tall building in like 1972, which is very, very interesting. But, but without rabbit holing, when I first started using melanotan one, which was back in literally 2008, 2009, and I was using it for the tanning. I was at that point in time, I was a competitive physique athlete. I competed in 2010, 2011 through 2014, where I stopped. As you know, I won three different shows. I completed in Model America, the NPC, and then I forget the ones that I completed in uh, in California, which were uh, Benias, uh, Begovic. That was like when they first started of the physique uh yeah it was, this was the very beginning of the physique yeah the exactly yeah, yeah and this is going way back but when i first started using melanotan one uh it was for tanning but as you know now and as i wrote about in my all my subsequent books for the most part it enhances consciousness and when you're a person that is truly walking the spiritual path and you're doing the quote unquote inner work, you know, you wake up in the morning and you meditate or you, you, you become contemplative or you sun gaze or you're introspective or you do all these things where you are attempting to get into stillness, you're silencing your mind. Using melanotan one enhances that. Like I always would say that like taking a very micro dose of melanotan one in the morning and then going to do your inner work practice, whatever that may be, you will get into that still mode you know, again, you, you guys all know the state, you know, be silent and know God or be still and know God. I mean, that's basically what is happening when you're doing your inner work. Every time I would do melanotan, I would just notice that my spirituality would increase and that I would get into these states of stillness where you can access all this information because you're not accessing it, you're remembering it, right? So it's like when you get back into that zone, but uh, then we started doing a lot more research and I found out about Frank Barr and I started looking at how amazing again, the melanotoid cortoid receptor complexes were and all the things they were responsible for. And so it just really made sense that it did do that. And then I met Nick Andrews uh, back in 2017 and I told him about this. And obviously he was a you know biochemical engineer and a peptide guru. And so he started experimenting with like really high dosages of melanotan one. <laughs> he was like, dude, I, I'm blown away. So then obviously we started talking about this with other people. And then obviously I published it in the TOT Bible, which even then was still an esoteric you know, research manual for people that were physicians that were prescribing hormones or just, you know, biohacking geeks, like very advanced biohacking geeks. And, you know, that information was in there. And a lot of people found that and started obviously experimenting with melanotan one and they experienced the same thing. So there's no clinical research or science out there that studies this, that, you know, can back this out or back this up or ascertain what we're saying is true. But as you know, and anybody who's using melanotan one, you do see that now to compare it, I'm going to let him finish this, but uh, melanotan one only will darken your natural melanin receptor complex. So you're not going to go beyond what your natural skin pigment and tone is. And so you will always get a nicer, more natural, less orangey, you know, less flamboyant tan because it's not going beyond the level of melanin that you have in your cells, right? So if you're like a person from Northern Europe, and you're, you know, Scandinavian or one of those places, you have much whiter skin and maybe you can have red hair, pink, pinkish white skin, you know, you're what they call a ginger uh, or ginger, you know, then you're probably not going to get as dark as someone like me who has family and uh, ethnicity heritage that's closer to the equatorial pole. Same thing as him. He gets darker skin too, but uh, melanotan too, I'm going to let him talk about that, but we are against melanotan too. And I'll let him tell you why. So melanotan too really gained uh, popularity in the bodybuilding world because bodybuilders would take it before shows to make them look tan. Now, I would say every melanotan 2 vial needs to be thrown in the trash because it's absolutely worthless because it makes you look like an Oompa Loompa. So if you actually want to look tan, it doesn't even serve that purpose. It just kind of makes you orangey. Yeah, I guess it makes you look you know, tanner than you were if you're really pale, um, but it makes you just kind of have like this orange complexion. It's pink. Here, yeah, exactly. And here's also the downside of it. If you have moles, it can actually increase 
the size of the moles. So as Melantan 2 will increase the size of the moles. There's no sort of side effects that I've experienced on myself. And I've been using Melantan 1 for three years now. And there's no sort of like side effects. What I like about Melantan 1 too is it's actually permanent. Like I've yeah, noticed yeah. from using it on and off, and I, I haven't probably used any in like three months that my skin stays like a really nice tan complexion, yeah. even in the wintertime, like right now where I'm not as outside as much. And obviously the sun is further away from us. So melanotan too, I think is just worthless. Also too, because of the way that the melanocorticoid receptor works with melanotan too, you can get prolonged erections for yeah. men, which sounds cool, but it's the same thing with like it's Viagra. Horrible. It's, horrible. it's terrible. You get a pre yeah. yeah, where you can get like a painful long erection. So that's not cool. So it makes you orange. It can have like the negative side effect of like a preopasm. And then also too, it doesn't have the consciousness enhancing effect yeah. that Jay was talking about with melanotan one. Unfortunately, most research chemical companies will only sell melanotan two just because it's been popularized in the bodybuilding world. Um, but I would really say like never use melanotan two. Hopefully us doing videos like this will convince people like don't do that and kind of with your pocket vote to buy melanotan one. So more research uh, I know Limitless sells it as part of the VIP club, uh, but more research chemical companies will move towards producing that because the, the tan is better. The uh, consciousness enhancement is better. And I also noticed too, working with a lot of women, a lot of women obviously have anxiety on the planet today. I've noticed countless women come back to me and say, I use this to get tan, but I noticed that it reduced my anxiety. Yeah. And what That's I think is, consciousness component. yeah. And I think what's going on too is because it upregulates your ability to absorb sunlight. Yeah. You can imagine like going outside for an hour. It's like going outside for five hours yeah. when you're using Lantan 1 because it's absorbing more light. When you've been outside at the beach for like eight hours a day, how calm are you? Because yeah. you've been in the sun, you're exactly. grounded and all those things. So it's kind of like taking all of that and like condensing it down into a smaller time frame where you get all the benefits of it. And because of that, because your body is getting sunlight, which it needs, you're reducing anxiety, you feel better. And obviously too, it enhances consciousness. So your meditations are better. And dude, you know what I just thought of that would be so cool for us to try is the red light with melanotan oh, one, one yeah. because of like the melanocorticoid, what that's doing. Well, to, I've already tuned right? Yeah, to, 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 to your, your ability. Am, right? Yeah, your ability to absorb light. There's only so. one thing, everything he said is 100% accurate, but he left off one thing and it's not in everybody, but I am one of these people. It also can increase feelings of nausea. Melanotan. Yeah, too. I forgot to talk about so that. So yeah. that's my funny story, right? Like we'll eventually yeah. do a video and I'll tell you guys my crazy story of injecting melanotan two instead of melanotan one before I went on a plane ride. And literally bowing over the toilet in the Delta, you know, pl flight I was on almost the entire thing because it does create this horrific sense of you're going to vomit and and then nothing comes it's up. Dry heave, it's yeah. just this dry heave. And honestly, he knows. Like I had this other experience happen to me. I think it was earlier this year, and I well, it was on a Tuesday, which we do our live shows at night for our private membership group. And I didn't think I was going to be able to do the show because I injected melanotan too. And it was mislabeled and I won't get into that and how that happened, but I thought I was going to die. I mean, yeah. I literally had horrific contractions of my midsection because of the dry heaving. I thought a couple of times I was going to break my ribs. So that's another reason why to avoid melanotan too. That doesn't happen in everyone, but it is a, again, it is a very known side effect. Nausea. And it's very small. Like the difference between you getting the tanning effect right. versus getting the nausea is for melanotan two. It's very small. Yes. Whereas like you can take extra melanotan one and it won't do that to totally. you. But if you're a melanotan two, if you take like five units too many on the insulin syringe, you could like potentially ruin. Yeah, I would. Yeah. He's exactly right. I would never touch melanotan two. I don't care what bodybuilders will say. Oh, but it's my pre tan, you know, my pre competitive uh, agent because it darkens my skin. It does darken your skin, but as he was saying too, it also darkens and enhances and increases mole formation, which could ultimately be cancer. So there's a reason up, too that melanotan one is FDA approved as a medication. For people, right. I think they, I forget what the condition it's is called. Afro or whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah, where they have it, where it's like prescribed for people that have skin conditions right. that actually help with uh, some sort of like discoloration in their skin. It actually helps them. Whereas Melantan 2 is not prescribed by any physicians that you'll find. Yeah, so. and it's also, as he was saying, the clinical FDA approved version of M1 is literally like 25 times the cost of yeah. research. Yeah. version so if you guys find value in this video head over to join.jcampbell.com which is 25,000 men and women just like you interested in this type of information who receive an email every single day except on sundays so i'm joe campbell i'm hunter williams we'll see you guys very soon peace